Morning Ireland, it's 11 minutes to nine. As an actor, he was unique. As a friend and colleague, he was exceptional. And as a father, he was irreplaceable. That's the message up on the website of the actor T.P. McKenna, who died Sunday night in hospital in London after a long illness. His friend, his longtime friend, Pat Laffin, is on the line. Pat Laffin, good morning to you. Good morning. Uh, you've known T.P. TP back since 1961, oh, is that right? Oh, for heaven's sake, my first day in the Abbey Theatre, yes, indeed. He was well established at that point, and having worked in the bank as well, he was, uh, he was, he was a bit older than I was, yes. And, I mean, I, I never met the man, I, I never knew him. Like most yeah. people, I've seen him in I don't know how many productions. Uh, He's one of these yeah. faces who's yeah. cropped up, particularly on TV, yeah. again and again and again. Um, but he had that kind of face that suggested this was a man with a big character. <laughs> he had. He was, well, he was enormously popular, put it that way. And he knew an awful lot of people. An awful lot of people knew and loved him. Uh, you know, he, had a, he had a very, came from a very large family. He played Gaelic football in his youth in Cavan. Then he was in the Abbey, and then he was in RT, and then he moved to England. And everybody in the business seemed to know him and, and, and enjoy his company, indeed. And he moved between stage, TV and films. Yes, he did. He always did. Uh, I mean, when I joined the Abbey, he was already doing films, you know. He, he, he was in a couple of local films. But he was part of a group of actors who made a kind of a big breakthrough in the Abbey in the late 50s, early 60s, which I saw when I was in UCD. Uh, they asked for better plays and got them. And uh, TP was one of three or four actors who were well up to it to do these European and, and, and uh, American plays, particularly Long Day's Journey into Night, which was an enormous breakthrough. But then when, when TP joined the company that went to England with Stephen D, he was kept there, really, you know, because he got loads of parts with that kind of movement in the English uh, cinema. In fact, I was in an Edna O'Brien film with him, uh, The Girl with the Green Eyes. And he went on from there, of course. The Charge of the Light Brigade, Straw That's Dogs. Right. I mean, and in terms of television, it's hard to work. It's easier to say what he wasn't in because yeah, he was in everything. Yeah, I mean, the Avengers, in Mind or Doctor Who, Rumble yeah, the Lot. Yeah, Casualty, Holby City, all those things. Uh, and recently he came back here and did Fair City, indeed. That's right, Tom and, Mitchell, isn't that right? Yes. And uh, I was, the last thing I did with him was in a film of the Isle of Man called The Boys and the Girls from the County Clare, where we had a good few laughs. Uh, uh, TP, myself and Colin Meany, indeed, uh, and uh, a bit of a reminiscing then. I'd say, th I'd say there, there might have been a drop or two taken. <laughs> there was a glass of wine taken, all right. <laughs> the best of wine, indeed. But uh, no, TP was, he was a great cavern man, you know, he had all these yarns from Muller from his youth and from the business they had, the auctioneer and all the rest of it. And, and, and uh, he'd, he'd have you in stitches most of the time, you know. He was great. He had that other great quality, I think, as well, um, of being, uh, obviously, you know, the theatrical tradition is very strong with Irish actors, but yes. that he was able to adjust then to something like the small screen, which is a very different style well, of acting that, altogether. Well, that's true, that's true. He, he was, he was terrific on film. Uh, but I'll tell you, he was marvellous. He was a good, very good singer. And in my day, I'll never forget him doing Cliff Richard, Australia, in the pantomime in the Abbey in about 1962 or so. He was hilarious and very good at it. He, he had a very good. He started in Gilbert and Sullivan when he was still in the bank. But uh, literally, he was very he had great range. There's no doubt about it. Terrific. Well, thank you so much for joining us to talk Not about him this all. morning. We miss Pat. him because we always got in touch, you know, and so on. Thank you. Okay, thank you very much indeed, Pat Laffin. Pat Laffin remembering there his friend, the actor T. P. McKenna, who died on Sunday night. And also, yesterday. one of those voices when you hear it, you remember it for the rest of your life. It was something really special.